Welcome to the KO Boxing Show. Tonight, we're going to have a feature from the Bob Rose Cup at Malvern Town Hall 2019. We're going to showcase the undercard, of course, the Bob Rose Cup and the main event. There's going to be some terrific fighters on the card. Guys like Matt Sheehan, Adam Koalas, um, Eamon Carlos, Georgie Payne, Corey Allen, Terry Zaramanis, some of the old favourites in the Malvern Town Hall. Let's go straight into the fight. This is it, get to the business end of the night. Adam, the Golden Greek Koalas, up against Tony Gammon for the Victorian title. This is brought to you by Ultra Tune. In commentary, we've got former world champion Barry Michael and also world raider Jade Mitchell. Adam Koalas with a man bun. And Tony Gammon, a tough German, now based Ooh. in Australia. He's from Stuttgart, based in Australia now and calling Australia home, fighting for the Victorian title. Third man in the ring, Tony Moretta. And Tony Moretta warned Alan, Adam Corliss in the opening seconds there for hitting on the break, but I tell you what, it was a close one. I mean, you know, I think it was on the way as he was calling break. But both boys mean business in this opening round. Adam Koalas trained by Sam Solomon. Basically the guy with a beard and a man bun, distinguished from <laughs> Tony Gammon. <laughs> Pretty hard to pick him apart, but uh, trained by the great man, Sam Solomon, who's coming up to his last fight of an illustrious career where he won the, the world midway title and fought some of the great, great fighters of the last 15 years or so. This fight's brought to you by Ultra Tune, and if the viewers out there have cars that needs to be serviced, it's OK, Trent. Trusting your mates down the road and that, but you don't do that with safety. You go the professionals, the best in the business, auto service centres, ultra tune. You get down there and I guarantee there'll be a coffee for you and the car will come back spick and spam 100%. But getting back to the action here, eight by three minute rounds for the Victorian World Away title, the Golden Greek Adam Koalas up against Tony Gammon. Guys, it's already looking like a cat-mouse type of fight already. It is. Look, Adam Corrales having a very good opening round, scoring the better of the shots here, going up and down. Good body shot there against Tony Cameron. Um, so he's, he's a born in Germany, but resident now in Australia, yes? He is, yes. He's okay. German. Spoke to him before. He said he walked a 1,000 miles around Europe. So he's one of these guys that loves to walk, Tony Gammon. And uh, the Germans love their soccer too, don't they? Great sportsman. Undoubtedly. Good matchup, this one. Um, this is a big step up for Adam in his career so far. Uh, a lot more experience, Cameron. Um, and the trend of this fight, I see, what I, what I know about Tony is he just does not take a backward step. Very tough kid. And a sport as heavy as light heavyweight. And he's, he's the smaller man in the ring there tonight. Okay. So extremely durable kid. Jay, I've, I've got to ask you this. How do you know him? I mean, how long has he been? He's trained by Brian, Brian Butler. How long has he been here? Well, my, my affiliation with uh, East End there is the running coach, Ronnie Pickin. And yep. um, I've Ronnie met Tony well. down, the, down the track and heard his story. But... Tony as well, for a lot of his fights in Germany, apparently um, never really had a camp for him. Okay. Um, so he's put in work. I know for the past four weeks he's trained properly with uh, with Brian and Ronnie. Um, okay. And, okay. yeah. So he's, he's had 24, like 20, 23 professional fights. So he's had a fair bit of experience. Yeah. Over First at yeah. Adam Koalas for one. Yeah, well, we touched touched on earlier, Barry. He's Rousey. fought as heavy as light heavyweight. He actually went the distance with uh, Zach Dunn's opponent last night. Yeah, in, uh, you did say that. Yeah, you did say that. Yeah, that's a, that's Koala starts fast again. Koala sticking his tongue out. There's a lot of Sam Solomon there about Koala. There is, there is. And you know what? Koala's is massive for a welterweight, isn't he? He's big. This was his step-up fight. And the way he's going, this could be his coming out party. Because he's definitely stepping up. He's moving beautifully, putting his punches together extremely well and showing a lot of the Sam Solomon. Some VIPs in attendance, Jimmy Vegas, some toy boxes here all the way down from Surface Paradise. If you need to go to a club in Surface Paradise, get down a toy box, sale out of Jimmy Vegas on Surface Paradise Avenue. He's got the new Mercedes Benz and the shining bling, Jimmy Vegas. But back to the action. Adam Koala, some oh, nice body shots there, Barry. That was a beautiful right hook to the left side of uh, Tony Cameron, and that's a that's a great shot. 
I'm loving the uh, yeah. the movement and the distance that Koalas is showing in this fight. He's um, extreme confidence. He's moving, moving beautifully, punching well, Jade. He's finally, he's really coming into his own as a professional boxer now. This is the second defense of his Victorian title. Yep. And um, he's looking the good tonight, Adam. He certainly is. 5'11", he's a pretty tall welder, although we have had bigger welders. I mean, you look at Tommy Hearn. He was a monstrous welterweight. That 5'11's a good size welterweight. But it's just the movement and the, um, oh. you know, the shoulder rolls and everything he does is a replica of Sam Solomon. Let's be honest, they're nightmares to fight, don't oh, like that. Don't worry, Sam would, would give, give fighters nightmares. I remember Just after, ask Winky Wright. I was going to say Winky Wright. It's exactly what I was, was going to say. And Sam didn't get the decision that Winky Wright... Acknowledged that it was the hardest fight he ever had. Sam should have got the decision. And Winky Wright, I think, only had one more and retired. He just, and he certainly didn't want a rematch with Sam Solomon. I'll tell you what, but um, Tony's not taking a backward step and he's wearing everything that uh, that's coming at him. Yeah, um, he is. Adam, Adam looks to be in phenomenal shape. He always does. But um, he's, certainly in, he's certainly got a fight in his hands here. Tony Cameron is not backing down at all. He's no. not worried about the movement. No. He's actually having some nice little moments here, Cameron. Yeah, he's walking up relentlessly, throwing punches non-stop, and he's nice and relaxed himself. Oh, he's extremely re extremely re relaxed. He's not... He's um, jabs, though, and you can't keep doing that, walking up. But saying that, Cameron looks to me like the type that's going to be there for the whole eight rounds. He's just going to keep wearing at Koalas and trying to slow him down. Well, that's the thing, Pete. He just hasn't taken a backward step yet. Adam Koalas laughing. Relaxed he, character, isn't he? Very relaxed. Working of the body. You know, look, we love to see characters in the ring and great to and see. Round really two. extremely fit fighter. Yeah. Round three. In, uh, in Koalas and an extremely durable fighter in uh, in Kamen. Round three. These fights are brought to you by Ultra Tune and we've got the CEO of Ultra Tune in the building, none other than Mr. Sean Buckley in attendance here. And the crowd is a sellout crowd. Terrific night. We're moving to the action end of the night. And Adam Koalas, we mentioned before, on our unofficial scorecards, we think he's in front. Yes. Yes. Winning the rounds, moving well. But look, you know, ultra tune, you see it on the ring canvas, the best advertising, advertising base you can possibly get. But ultra tune does a fantastic job to support professional boxing in Australia. And it's great to see. Cameron just relentless. Isn't he? Nice no, little shots there from Cameron. He caught the attention there of Koalas, didn't he? Some real heavy hands. The pressure is just relentless from Cameron. It is. He won't take a backward step. <laughs> Not at all. This is great fun. It is. This, every, look, we've had some really good fights so far, but this is the cracker as well. Yeah, every fight evenly, evenly matched so far. Adam looks as though he's enjoying himself. Got a grin on his face the majority of the time. Oh, nice right hand there by Cameron. Yeah, good shot. I would actually say Cameron might be winning this round so far. Got caught with a good left hand coming in then. Oh, oh, oh nice good, right hand. Good right hand over the top of Cameron and throwing good, putting good punches together there. Tony Cameron. Sure, he's having some good moments, Cannon, isn't yeah, he? He certainly is. Yeah, this, this so far this is Cameron's oh. round. But one thing I will say about Adam Koalas is, is he certainly doesn't back away from a fight. No, he loves he's, it. But, you know, Adam Koalas still landing some good shots himself. He's oh, been oh, that's and the right Cameron man. That went. hurt him. Cameron nearly went that up hurt. against the rope. That's hurt him. Cameron that, could... That Cameron could be in trouble. Oh, he's in this trouble. This is toe-to-toe -to -toe stuff. He's hurt bad. Koalas has seen blood here. He's, he's going for the kill. Oh, he fires back Cameron. What a heart. What a fight. Adam Koalas landing bombs with both hands. Both boys exchanging <laughs> tremendous blows. This is what boxing's all about. Oh. Oh, big shots again. Wow, look at that. He blocked that Cameron, fortunately. I tell you, that was a bomb. Big body shots from Adam Koalas. I'm impressed with Cameron's heart. Oh, man. They call him the fighter for a reason, fellas. Oh. How this tough is, is he? This is great. If Tony Cameron can hang in there through that, he's, he's going to go the distance. I think he got hit with everything. Everything but the kitchen sink. Didn't he? And fought back well. 
They're unbolting it as we speak, I think. Oh. He let everything go. I don't go. know how he's still up. <laughs> wow, what, what a, a round. round, Barry. What a round. That's the round of the night. Yeah. We're ready to go again. Here we go. It's going to be war again. He throws his first jab just about before the bell had stopped ringing. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't. He didn't wait a split second. Koala's kind of. He spent a lot of money there trying to get him out. Oh, did he ever? He did. Then he went for broke. Yeah, good point, Peter. Can, you know, takes a lot out of you throwing so many big shots when you've got an opponent in trouble, and he he hangs in there, and it's a, it can be quite disheartening, and also take a lot out of you. Good head movement there. Absolutely. That, that's got to be so disheartening. This boy is tough. He's real tough. I'm making a statement. Tony Gammon's going to be very entertaining for a lot of fights oh, yeah, across yeah, Australia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Brian Butler's got a ripper there. Yep, undoubtedly. And, you know... Oh, got caught by a nice right hand there. Doesn't seem to phase him. No, he's relentless. Gunman's fought right up to light heavyweight too. Yeah, yeah you said yeah, he was that. saying that earlier. So now down to welterweight, how did he look at light heavy? He must have been pretty pudgy. <laughs> I would say so. Big guy. I would say so. Lovely, nice side on tight defence there by Adam, Adam Koalas. Nicely tucked up. But uh, Tony Cameron, relentless, relentless. This is only the fourth round. Oh, all first oh. three rounds are all to Adam Koalas. Yeah. This is a Tony Cameron round. Oh, Cameron's landed some big body shots this round. And that's what he needs to do, slow up Koalas' movement. Yep, yep. Great fight. Cracking pace. Nice right hand there. What a pace, though. Oh. They're going to have to take a breather, Barry. They You'd can't keep so. this up. Well, they get a minute between rounds, Peach. <laughs> no, but what I'm saying, they can't keep this type of head no, no. pace up. No, you're right. It's, you're right. It's got to take its toll on one of them. You would think, oh, oh. oh big right hand over the top there from Adam Qualis. He knows he's got Cameron Hurt again. Big, big body shots. Are these going to... Oh, he oh. fires back. Oh. Tony Cameron fires back. Hurts Adam Qualis. What, what a fight. This is wow. the fight of the year written all over. Wow, it. look at this. Well, he's hurt. Adam Koalas has gone the back foot. But just as Tony Cameron took over, bang, Adam Koalas lands some big shots, and now Cameron's back on the front foot again. What a fight, fellas. This is unreal. This is what the fight game's all about. That's for sure. Fights like this. Seesawing. What the hell is Tony Cameron's chin made out of? He, My God. He's serious granite, this kid. He's like the old Volkswagen <laughs> German cars. They used to go for a minute. Oh, oh, hits him on the brake again. Oh, brother. He might get lose a point for that one. That was, he'll be very lucky if he doesn't. Oh, that was a... Oh, very lucky. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was well after the referee said break. The first one, fair enough. Oh, wow. Round five. Cameron just straight off the bat, straight into it. This is, this is you know, uncharted territory this is going to be for Adam Koalas. He hasn't, I don't think he's had a fight this tough, Pete, has he? Uh, he had a great fight with Bajero. He did. Uh, yes, yeah, I yeah, saw the fight with did. Bajero, yeah, but I think this is another level again. Oh, absolutely. It is. This was a step-up fight. Of yep. course, the fights tonight are brought to you by Ultra Tune and Toy Box. Surface Paradise Men's Club, fantastic, fantastic atmosphere up there. Say good day to Jim nice. Vegas if you're in the building. Nice little angle there by Adam. Good defence by Adam, good shoulder rolling, yep. good steps back and smiles. But uh, Tony Cameron, relentless, won't be deterred. Straight back on, straight back, walks up. Throw, oh, throws a big left hook up a cut, slips over. This, at this stage of Adam's career, this is the perfect fight. If he passes his test of Cameron, yep. he's on his way. This is this is a brilliant fight. This is that exactly is. what Adam Koalas needs. Exactly. Very good point, Jade. Very good point, mate. He may not feel like it at the moment, but no. if he can, if he weathers the storm of this strong German fighter, he's only going to be better for it. Yep, undoubtedly. And Adam has improved each fight so far, and um, this is really going to really going to put some uh, fuel in the tank for his career. Gammon, 16 wins, five losses, and fought for a European title and a WBO title, so he's very experienced. Yeah, that's a, it. Is a really big step up for Adam, but you know. 
you know, good on him for taking this fight. And you know what? Good on, on Tony Cameron from coming down to, from light heavyweight to welterweight. That's a big effort in itself. But this is where he's he, he's obviously reasonably comfortable at this weight. He lo it looks well, suits him. We touched on it earlier. I, I believe Tony didn't really train for his yeah, fights I, I at home in Europe. Well, it um, wouldn't surprise me, you know. And look at look at the physiques on both of these boys now. Adam is a real welterweight. Tony could probably even go down another weight. That's He's very soft. Yep, yeah, yeah. big chance. And he'd be a force, you know, as you know, Jay, the, you know, the, 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 the lighter you the, lighter go, the stronger again, you are. The better you are, the better off you are, as long as you do it properly. Nice right hand there by Koalas. Yep. Both boys feeling the pace now. Who wouldn't? I'm feeling the pace. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what a fight. The matchmakers, well done. Uh, undoubtedly, great matchmaker. All, fight, all the fights tonight have been terrific. Adam Koalas is uh, he's doing doing well in this round. I I don't know whether I don't know whether I've got the uh, the relentless pressure of Cameron in this round or Koalas found some nice shots in this round. Very close one. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's a hard round to score. This one isn't it? I, I, we've got a, We've got a hell of a fight on our hands because if Cameron took that fight. round, we've got three rounds too. Well, you know, basically on our judging so far, oh, I think we should all retire as judges. <laughs> <laughs> Cameron just pressing forward again. Yeah, he just knows only one way, doesn't he? The bell rings and he's, he's out there on top of you. You don't have to go looking for this bloke. I was going to say, the, uh, the smile the smiles disappeared off of Koalas' face that was there the first three rounds, yeah. that's for sure. You're not wrong. <laughs> Koalas only having his seventh professional fight and Gammon having his 22nd yeah. professional fight. As the fight goes longer, of course, it's going to be Gammon that's going to be appreciating that more. Ah, oh, absolutely. The, mate, the perfect step up for Adam Koalas. Like, he takes it very seriously. Um, he's got a great team around him with Sam Solomon. And uh, if he can pass his test tonight, he's going to be better for it. Oh, undoubtedly. Great mate. fight. You know, you, you've got to take step ups and... This is the perfect fight for him. I mean, it's I think, a fight that he has to win, really. My seventh fight, I think I fought Nader Hamden. Yeah, well, that's... 44 and 11. That's a, that's a pretty good world step title. Up. I think and, I promoted it, didn't I? You certainly did, Barry. <laughs> and, mate, he, he cut from the same cloth as Cameron. Just what a ripper coming Blake. forward. What a ripper, Blake, too. And, you know, if, if you're watching out there, Nader, a true warrior who fought everyone, you know, fought world champions, fought for the world title. Great man, great fight, great Australian fighter, Nader Hamden. Oh, Morales is switch hitting now. So oh, oh, nice before. little combination in, in close there. From Cameron, yeah. Back to Southpaw for Koalas. It's good. He's, he's trying now variation. He's trying to change it up. He I is. like that by Koalas. I do too. The door, nice, nice body up shot up a cut there from Tony Cameron. Nothing seems to perturb this bloke. Nothing seems to put him off. It's Tony Cameron. Oh, Tony yeah. goes a bit like the Terminator. He just keeps coming the forward. Terminator. We need to change his name. He's no longer the fighter. He is the Tony Terminator. Tony the Terminator Cameron. <laughs> Suits him. Absolutely. Tony the Terminator, Pete. I think that moniker sits right right well. He's probably got the German accent like Arnold as well, but Arnold's an Austria. <laughs> Yeah, good point. Love to have Arnold. Oh, oh, Bank oh. balance anyway. He was off was he rock there or was he off balance? Oh, I think he was off, off balance. balance. Yeah. I think he was off balance, but his legs did buckle. Terrific night tonight. Once again, we mentioned Ultra Tune, Sean Buckley, the CEO in the building. One of the great men just, of Australian sport. Just relentless. This round two is extremely hard to score. We've got the, the variation from, from Adam changing to uh, Southpaw, but just relentless pressure from Cameron. He's just knows, he's made of something else. Isn't he? He just continually walking up, copping punches, throwing punches non-stop himself. Cops a couple, shrugs his shoulders, walks forward again. Got to take its toll. Who are we score? How are we scoring this round, guys? Yeah, you know, I knew you were going to ask that. I, I'm leaving the score to you, Blake. These last two rounds very well could tell the story. Yeah, I don't think there's a clear. We don't have a clear, clear winner so far in this no, fight. The first couple of looked like Adam Koalas, but the smiles know, back. We yeah. might, we might have, uh, we might have something on our hands here, fellas. Yeah, well, he's into his second or third win. For sure, you know when you get you know yourself when you get beyond the sixth or seventh round, you know you you can lift. 
I think there's been a win for each round. These boys are letting fly. Aren't They're they? starting to get their second win now, aren't they? That's that's what I'm saying, Pete. You know. But look at this play. Look at this guy. He's unbelievable. I tell you, Ronnie and Brian have got this uh, Tony Cameron in great condition. I tell you, with all due respect to Tony, um, he wasn't doing anything special down the track that would make me think that uh, this is the sort of lungs this kid had. I mean, this is, this is I'm, I'm shocked. Yeah. He just hasn't stopped. No, he's super fit. Both yeah. boys are going to have sore heads tomorrow, that's for sure. Oh, they're going to be sore from head to toe. <laughs> you know yourself what it's like. You know, like the next day you're sore and the second day you're worse. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. Adam Koalas, right at the moment, though, is he doing enough to pinch this fight? Because it's up for grabs. It is That's up for grabs. I, I, I don't think so. I don't no, think so. No. It's still up for grabs. Yeah. It's going to be a hard one to judge. So far, look, Cameron so far for mine this round has been Cameron just because of the relentless pressure is just non-stop. Yeah, yeah. I think um, so. But Koalas is finding Koalas is finding room every now and again and letting those big shots go. But he hasn't been able to do it this round yet. They're only little shoe shine shots in close, but Cameron is landing yeah. and he is outworking him. He's yeah. just and, relentless. And you know the when jab. You, when you, if you look at the two of them, who looks the most tired? Adam does, doesn't he? Yeah, you know, and that perception is a lot. Mm. You know, you get the perception that a guy's running out of gas, even if he's landing cleaner shots. You tend to lean, lean towards the opponent that doesn't look as though he's running out of gas. The Terminator just will not stop. The Terminator. I think that Nick Monica's got a stick, doesn't it? I think so. Nice right, right hand there by Cameron. Good head move. I think this Adam. has been probably the most dominant round by Cameron so far. Can Can Koala steal this round? The thing is with Koalas, every time you think, every time you think he's slowing down a bit, he finds something. Comes out, steps back, gets a breathe, gets takes a deep breath, and then throws some clean shots. But he's looking weary. He's looking under pressure. And this the Terminator walks nice, forward. Good nice body, body shot, shot there. there. From... He would probably be wise oh. to have uh, really invested in the body earlier, Adam. Yeah, yeah, possibly, yeah. Because they do take the toll down the track. <laughs> Possibly. This guy's something else, isn't he? This is great. Oh, this, this is going to be another hard round of score, guys. Sorry oh, to say I, it. I, I give this round to Cameron, Pete. I have to give this round to Cameron. Wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Koalas. Koalas has been the more, done the more, impre had the more impressive comes. moments. This is the eighth. But my and God, has Cameron's work rate been impressive. Oh, nice left hook by Cameron to start the round with. Adam starts with a smile. As he does regularly, he needs to keep himself nice and sharp and fit, have a big round to pinch it. Oh, good right hand from Adam Quellis. This is the last round, no use leaving it. Oh, leave everything out there, Barry. Oh, undoubtedly. And look, you know, both boys have given it everything. and. This is, you know, honestly, Pete, the matchmaking tonight's been extraordinary. Has it ever. And great fights. But this is, uh, this has been relentless. This so Stu yeah. Duncan. Yeah, Stu, he does a great Lyndon job. Lyndon Hosking and, and Adam and calling Cameron on here. Take a bow. Both boys having their moments. Good clean shot from Adam there. Goes the left, right, taps himself on the chest saying, come on. <laughs> Don't you love it? Adam enjoys himself in there. You can see that. The show. Oh, he loves it, doesn't he? He just loves a battle. The type of guy who goes camping as well and uh, parachuting and all that good type of stuff. Daredevil. Good on him. Adrenaline seeker, Barry. Yeah, good on him. We're better off sitting on the couch, mate, with a warm cup of tea, I reckon. At this day, Pete, yeah. <laughs> yes. We're we'll young not man. A, I was going to say. Not, oh. Not the peak of your powers, big, obviously. Big yeah. right hand there, and Tony Cameron's legs look like they wobbled. I don't know if he's off balance. But Adam getting the better of this round, and my... Yes. My I, do, I do see Adam getting the better of this round. Yeah, yeah. And this could very well seal the deal for him. Oh. Oh, come, yeah. Come it's a good head hands, movement, though. But great head it. movement. <laughs> One minute to go, boys. Let, let's be honest, this has been fought in terrific spirit. Yeah, Both I have. boys have shown a lot of respect oh, for each other. They certainly have, Pete. Nice right hand there by Koalas. Yes, another nice right another hand one. by yeah, Koalas. Good, good finish. Very good finish. And Cameron goes on the back move. 
That's the first time, Karen, the Terminator's yeah, taken look, a backwards Yeah, going, look, going backwards for a couple of seconds, at least he went backwards. Oh, Beautiful head, head, head movement. movement. Great head movement. A la Sam Solomon. Yes, yes. Adam looking to load up for a big finish here. Don't worry about the final 30 oh, seconds. There we go. This is interesting how it's going to finish and how we're going to score the round. A leaping type of jab there, the miss by Gammon. Wow. He's found a home for that right hand this round. Yeah. Koalas. It's an Adam Koalas he's, round for sure. He's dug deep this last round. Yeah. What Very a good fight. Round. Brought to you by Ultra Tune and Toy Box. This has been a terrific contest, guys. Unbelievable contest. Good big round for Adam Koalas in the last, what last round. What a final. fight. Great, Standing great ovation. Fight. Yeah, I think that's fantastic. Your winner and still victoria welterweight state a close champion decision, but the gee, that was a crack adam fight the adam koalas dumped his chest holding the title and as we keep saying keep punching